Hello everyone and now welcome to a game between Sock versus Tho, this game taking place here on Last Refuge. Sock has spawned as the pink human player on the top right hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Tho choosing random and getting orc has spawned on the bottom left hand side of the map as the orange orc. Orc versus human in a 1v1 matchup. Things are already getting underway. Let's go ahead and get to at least that two minute mark to figure out what the strategies are going to be. Though most likely going far seer headhunters. Meanwhile, Sock most likely going archmate. No, Mountain King footman. All right, so Mountain King over, um, over the typical archmage, and we will have to keep a close eye on that second hero. Blood mage mana battery strategy has become or it has always been very very popular since its introduction, allowing that Mountain King to get a bit more mana while shutting down opponent mana as well. Coming out across here, Militia now making their way across here, trying to go after this Forest Troll High Priest. We're going to see perhaps a Storm Bolt or something onto that right there. Forest Troll High Priest going to go ahead and get trained up. There's that Storm Bolt to prevent some of that healing, and in comes back this Rock Golem. Meanwhile, though, already coming across here from the far side, going to be putting in pressure. There is a bit of padding blocking there as the Forest Troll Shadow Priest has to be very careful. There's a Abolish Magic on one. We may see an Abolish Magic on another. Um, another spirit wolf here as we are looking at the rock golem about to get taken down mountain king does get the belt of giant strength and now should be able to perhaps land another storm bolt if necessary meanwhile this forest troll shadow priest is trying to hide inside the base here trying to well minimize the amount of damage it is taking while militia are continuing to engage against those units all right how much damage is really going to get added up there perhaps an abolish magic will finish it off no i believe that was a resummon instead Stormbolt Bash coming in from Sock, so uh, perhaps a Lucky Bash will be able to get in some bit of critical damage. Forest Troll Shadow Priest once again getting off another Abolish Magic, taking down that Spirit Wolf, giving the Mountain King a little bit additional experience, but really removing the threat of the Spirit Wolf there as, well, Tho doesn't want to summon up another round of Spirit Wolves as it isn't that efficient, but one Wolf 11 to 22 damage is really not altogether that scary. Coming back around though, we see the tech to tier 2 by Tho. And that's exactly what he wants to do. He wants the tech to tier 2 have that technological advantage. And even though he doesn't have that large of an army, being able to put pressure and keep the Mountain King contained for a little while longer. Meanwhile, Arcane Tower now waiting to be upgraded. Here, here comes the Militia, and here we are going into an engagement now. Going after that Scout Tower, it does have Light Armor, and Light Armor does get taken down pretty quickly, but we see a, a five Militia surround onto that Farseer. Farseer now trying to finish things off here. A Headhunter will end up getting taken down, but the Scroll of Town Portal burn and Sock. Well beautifully defending that right there getting the repairs onto that scout tower so that it can upgrade to the arcane tower while getting five militia and a beautiful surround in that position coming back through though now taking this opportunity to well all he can really do is heal up and now try and clear some creep camps of his own he knows that he is a bit behind and it needs to catch up in terms of level Tier 2 nearly done. We should be looking at a Torrent Chieftain um, following things up as we do need a frontline hero. Farseer does have Claws of Attack plus 5, has plenty of items ready to, well, pull back away if when the time comes. No Clarity Potion being used right now. As you can see, that little one Murloc Nightcrawler trying to spread out all of that poison damage. Remaining Murlocs now looking to swarm up to the Farseer, but that can get taken down pretty quickly as well. Mountain King of Sock already sitting at level 3. It looks as though Militia is going to turn back into that peasant form and now do uh, expansion here. Sock staying at um, staying at tier 1 and now getting up an expansion and trying to go for the long game. Who is going to come out on top? Is the expansion or the tech really going to be the driving factor in this matchup here as the Mountain King sits on a 20 supply army going up against 18? Back at home, we can see the Torrent Chieftain is being trained. We are getting uh, the Torrent Totem and a Beastiary. So Spirit Walker, Spirit Link, with perhaps Raiders, spread out all of that damage. And, well, try and make a bit of a play. The Beastiary, however, already suffering a bit of damage here as the Forest Troll Berserker quickly hired up. You can see that the Forest Troll Shadow Priest 
A second one was added into that number as well as the bestiary going to get taken down. That is going to be a big, big sore spot for Tho as Tho has a technological advantage but has nothing to show for it as of yet except for this Torrent Chieftain now making his way out onto the battlefield. Torrent Chieftain getting ready in the position. There's another surround onto that Farseer. Farseer using a potion of healing. There is a stomp right there trying to buy some big time getting in a big, big amount of damage and there was also a chain lightning right there as well. Farseer, scroll of speed, able to back away. Stormbolt onto another headhunter, going to get taken down. There goes the forest troll shadow priest. There goes a berserker as well as a torrent chieftain could continue to fight. Bestiary was taken down, but the voodoo lounge with potion of healing allowing for the saves there as the mountain king about to take down this headhunter as well. All right. Mountain King now out of mana, going to be retreating home back off to the north. Farseer looking to perhaps disrupt a bit of mining. There's level three now on that Farseer as the Farseer getting some arcane feedback well, from that arcane tower. Mountain King could be coming across to engage here in just a moment. A handful of low hit point footmen trying to dodge both sides, trying to dodge here as the Mountain King still does not have enough mana for a Stormbolt as of yet, but could, well, land one soon. Torin Chieftain sitting at level 1 has a Clarity Potion, could hand it off to the Farseer to try and use it up. Meanwhile, the Torin Chieftain needs to get to level 2 to move around the field faster. Tech to tier 2, about a third of the way done now for Sock, as the economic advantage could translate into an army size advantage here momentarily. Meanwhile, a bestiary finally being built as the Torin Totem now cranking out those Spirit Walkers for well, Spirit Link to spread out some of that damage across multiple units. Torrent Chieftain will get to level 2 off of this creep camp here. Um, critical strikes coming across from those Feral Spirit Wolves as an Illusion Mountain King just wandering around once more. Torrent Chieftain wanting to finish off this Forest Troll Trapper creep camp. There is level 2 now Endurance Aura most likely going to be the um, the ability there a little bit of a faster movement speed and overall damage increase as they are attacking slightly faster all right farseer well items getting transferred around dual claws of attack plus five on that farseer for a total of plus 10 and damage if the torrent chieftain can somehow find its way to level three that level two um that level two stomp with that larger radius is going to really cause a problem, especially if Sock doesn't have that Arcane Sanctum up yet for some Spellbreakers. Torrent Chieftain just that much more powerful as the Torrent Chieftain now makes his way out onto the, well, makes his way into the middle of the battlefield here. We can see a lot of mercenaries getting hired up here. There's some Spirit Link trying to uh, save up some damage as the Headhunter now trying to retreat back. Torrent Chieftain more Spirit Link. There's a giant stomp followed by a Thunderclap. That was a retrain right there. So a lot of damage being done. Meanwhile, units are falling on both sides. Spirit Wolves are falling here. Torrent Chieftain could try and land another Stormbolt, but doesn't really have all that much. Um, damage to really capitalize on these units. 33 supply compared to 45. All of the footmen are now looking to retreat back once more as the Torin Chieftain staying at level 2, unable to get to level 3. A very, very big setback. Now, Blood Mage is going to be that second hero. We are going into dual Arcane Sanctums for those Spellbreakers to try and mitigate when that Torin Chieftain does get to level 3. Hi, Night Mist. How are you doing? Um, thanks for tuning in. As we're looking at a couple of bits of damage coming back across here. Torrent Chieftain seeing that level 2 here. He's going to pick up a Cloak of Shadows. Yes, he does pick up that Cloak of Shadows. Spirit Walker absorbing quite a bit of damage. There's a Thunderclap. Spirit Walker trying to walk away now down to 87 hit points. As he does, is still taking a little bit of damage. Stormbolt finishes him off there. As we're looking at a little bit more damage going across once more. More damage racking up here. Footman down to 206 hit points. He's going to be able to back away. And now in comes the Blood Maid with plenty of mana to give. Could try and get in some thunderclaps. There you go. But only really hits one of those grunts there. That mirror, that spirit link making a very, very big difference as the units are now trying to retreat back. There goes one footman once again. Blood Mage could try and give more mana as well. We can see a little bit of damage. No, an ensnare now onto that Mountain King. As that Mountain King now back up to close to 200 mana. Ready for more thunderclaps. Blood Mage with very fast mana regeneration. Units of Tho trying to recover, perhaps trying to heal back up once more. 39 supply over 41, but this game is getting away from Tho now. Sock is at tier 2, 
um, we are not at tier three by so so the headhunters are staying headhunters not going to be upgraded to berserkers and have significantly less hit points meanwhile we're looking at the blood mage and the mountain king now looking to well just continue to add up a bit more mana and this may be a pretty much all in do or die attempt at that northern expansion before it becomes too much saw craps realizing this setting up some additional base defense here perhaps going to come around the far side and now perhaps try and cut off any escapes here couple of ensnares going or a sna ensnare going down onto the priest one priest going to get taken down another ensnare siphon mana onto the torrent chieftain torrent chieftain running out of quite a bit of mana which wants to land in a stomp and will do exactly that there as we see a couple of ensnares here catching his opponent off guard in midfield as sock is trying to retreat back away there's a thunderclap going back the other way as well as the far seer while still looking to try and rack up a bit more damage again torrent chieftain could throw down a stomp blood mage gets taken down and now it's just the mountain king fighting here as forest troll berserkers are falling as well mountain king could try and land a storm bolt does find a raider to take and uh, take down a Sock is now down to 34 supply so catching his opponent off guard and now perhaps going to get a couple of ensnares down to catch some more of these trailing units 45 supply compared to 45 sock does has rebounded with his army but has given a lot of experience to his opponent who is now sitting at nearly level four on the farseer and the tauren chieftain however was enough damage done sock already back up to 45 over 48 over 72 supply his expansion is still working hard upgrades getting underway as more sorceresses and priests are joining the battlefield torin chieftain is going to be just a shy of level four off after this creep camp but picking up a tome of intelligence and a potion of greater healing as well maybe going up onto the high ground here to level 3.9 heroes doesn't mean for doesn't make for very much of a problem um really need to perhaps try and go clear some easy creep camp somewhere as the farseer wants to also pick up some additional scrolls of healing that would be very beneficial to try and offset some of that thunderclap damage here we are here we go and snares going down onto a couple of those priests and those casters in the back that may be enough there is a storm bolt followed by a siphon mana thunderclap as well and the torrent chieftain is completely out of mana unable to lay down any stomps Farseer sitting at level 3, Mountain King sitting at level 5, level 3, Thunderclap, plenty of mana. We're going to see another Thunderclap right there uh, while well, capitalizing on that damage. So much damage suddenly taken um, by that entire Orc army here as we do see a Kodo Beast or one Kodo Beast had something in its belly. Okay, this Kodo Beast has something in its belly and trying to retreat away. Also healing up from some healing salves as well. Smart job. Our smart play by Tho purposely separating as we do see the expansion and down to the south side here is up and operational as well. So Tho is trying to turn this into a long game as well. Torin Chieftain about to get to level four. Farseer also gets to level four. Medallion of Courage, a beautiful item for that Torin Chieftain who now has a bit more um, a bit more going on from the Farseer. However, we'll need to use a Squirrel of Town Portal in order to get out of this sticky, sticky situation. Squirrel of Town Portal being used. Low hit point, Raider. Raider, where is it going to go? Raider gets taken down. Forest Troll, Berserker getting taken down there. Squirrel of Town Portal back to this Great Hall here. They need to heal back up to try and defend this location as one Kodo Beast, I believe, did finish digesting. No, didn't finish digesting. This Kodo Beast is hiding on the inside here little bit more heals clarity potions need to be used that torrin chieftain needs to perhaps even buy a potion of mana or two if he wants to have mana in the middle of the fight the blood mage has been doing such a good job shutting down that torrin chieftain that no stomps have really come into play there's a massive thunderclap right there peons could try to jump inside the orc burrows and here we are here we go as the orc burrows offering a little bit of additional damage poking back against that human army all right a lot of damage done right there units are going to try and retreat back there is some spirit link getting well cast across the unit 76 supply compared to 64 a little bit more healing coming back across here and where is the additional army units we are looking at triple arcane sanctums and now inner fire being added in thunderclap three peons falling from that simple slow clap right there as more peons will need to be trained up all right 
demolish Kodo Beast, Kodo Beast, Kodo Beast, three Kodo Beast ready to play Hungry Hungry Kodo and the Mountain King once more. Wow, I keep on talking past my, um, my microphone. Um, a no, yeah, slow clap once more, causing some major problems. Torrens now out here onto the battlefield. The Torrens may actually be a big, big surprise as the front line going to have a bit of a problem. The Pulverize actually maximizes damage quite a bit. Paladin now joining out in here onto the battlefield as the Demolishers are lobbing attacks against those back units as well. Torrin Chieftain could have a bit of a problem. No Potion of Lesser Invulnerability. There is a Stomp right there. It has a Potion of Greater Healing. Is he going to use it? Yes, he is. As the Mountain King now gets a little bit more mana, are we going to see a Stomp? on the backside there there's a stomp there trying to disrupt at once more and everything is in the red scroll of healing for the orc side to try and stay alive Torrens are going to have a little bit of problem. Spirit Link going bouncing around as the Torrent Chieftain pretty much out of mana very low hit point Torrent down to two hit points is he going to get taken down yes by his own friendly fire the demolisher with that splash damage takes down that Torrent um that Torrent right there in that front line position no experience given but still a pretty, pretty heavy blow. But then again, it's also difficult to heal up that 1300 hit point Torin when it does fall. Or unless the Spirit Walkers have mastery training. Do they have mastery training? Um, oh, another thing to note, the, the Torin cannot get resurrected as when you die to a Demolisher hit, you do not actually leave a corpse. Siege damage does not leave behind corpses so that's another thing to note spirit walkers coming back around on the other side here Torin ready to go farseer ready to go as well we're going to see 55 supply compared to 77 sock is still in the driver's seat of this game this mountain king with a mana battery and potions of mana so difficult to deal with on top of those rings of protection plus three I don't know why there's a delay. I'm not setting a delay in the stream. Um, maybe I should, I don't know, can I set like extra low latency so I can interact with my viewers a bit better? Um, I probably need to be higher up on the totem pole of um, of, X, or not, of Twitch in order for that to happen. Anyways, Forest Draw High Priest gonna get taken down here. Couple of demolishers getting cleared up. Kodo Beast all well ready once more. Which is interesting, like I'm sure Back to Warcraft could, if they wanted to, have a low delay on their streams, but because they cast so many live events, they have to put in a three minute delay, which is um, a little bit, um, well, I want to be live, they can't be live, yeah. All right, 80 supply going up against 68. Blood Mage still does not, no flame strike. Does have Banish, though, to try and clear things up. Kodo Beast Demolishers do have that um, extra bit of damage. Um, what? It's not, is it Liquid Fire? Liquid Fire, I believe, is the Troll Bat Rider. Is it the same upgrade? Uh, you guys know what I mean. Adding a little bit of red to that Demolisher attack. There's a Thunderclap right there. And there is that damage over time. Units are trying to retreat back as we're going to go ahead and engage. If it's, It might as well go to YouTube and comment instead. Yeah, Cyclone picking up that Blood Mage there as we see more damage raining down onto that backline position. Shadow Hunter joining in. Torrent Chieftain trying to make his way to the far back. Perhaps trying to land a Stomp. Does get a Stomp here, but now trying to break free as the Spellbreakers are going to get into that position. Kodo Beast trying to continue to eat. Torrent Chieftain down to 250 hit points. Healing Wave does find bouncing around, but getting blo body blocked by that own headhunter there could cause problems. Torin Chieftain continuing to finish things off, trying to get in some more Storm Bolts. Has plenty of mana. Can get in the win there as Tho leaves the game. Sock is victorious. And for some reason, it's not going to the score screen. All right. End game. Quit game. Will it show me the score screen? Yes, it will. All right, so Sock comes away with the victory over Tho. A um, pretty clean victory right there. And out expanded Tho, unable to really capitalize on that tech advantage early on, especially with losing that bestiary. Um, just a really, really timely attack by Sock offsetting things. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.